والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم الرحمن الرحيم إن نعم الله most gracious most merciful السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome to this program reaching out we try in this program to present some ideas some keys on how to give دعوة to others just to remind myself and all of you about the importance of دعوة the virtue of da'wah. Let's go to this club. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد وأشهد أن محمد أن محمد رسول In the last in the last meeting I tried to review with the brothers here the keys and methods that we discussed before in this program I would like one of the brothers here to just summarize what we mentioned in the last meeting, please. Uh, yes, Brother Amr. Yes, first of all, let me say, um, the ayah is like a surgeon. Mm -hmm. He should be skillful. Mm -hmm. He deals not with the body, but with the spirit. Mm -hmm. Show he, he, so he, sh he should start with himself. Mm -hmm. He should cleanse his own heart Great. in order to be able to, um, to do the same with others. Mm -hmm. Later on, he should have some other tools. Uh, he should have, he should break the ice between him. He should make the link between him and the one he is uh, calling to Islam. He should use the tools of smile, sincere smile. He should not be arrogant. Mm -hmm. In sure. order to, 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 he should get to the point. In right. order to, to have his goal. Good. Later on, he should, he should be, um, uh, he should stay the basics. Mm -hmm. Should right. not go to the branches or you should Jazakallah eat to the khayla. basics. Thanks, Brother Amr. Another brother, I think, raised, who raised yeah. his hand. Yes, Brother Muhammad. Yeah, and, uh, anyone who's going to, uh, to engage into the process of giving Dao to others must at first win uh, the hearts of others. Mm -hmm. And he can win the hearts of others through many things. He can uh, first break the ice between him and that other, mm -hmm. and uh, he can build strong bridge, bridges mm -hmm. and bridge the gap between him and that other person is going to invite him to uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also uh, uh, he uh, can uh, follow certain other things like smiling in his face mm -hmm. uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as we know said tabassumuka uh, fi wajhi akhika sadaqa that is uh, it is an act of a charity mm -hmm. to smile in your brother's face right. uh, he should also leave a first good impression right. this is very important he should leave a first good impression right. uh, uh, among the other things he can also uh, other thing he can uh, uh, there are lots of things uh, like uh, anyhow uh, uh, good good uh, participation yes brother uh, Muhammad something to add. Brother Mahmoud, yes. So something to add is uh, uh, the one who is who is going to call to Allah must be sincere, must be concerned. First of all, 
concerned. If, if right. he's sincerely concerned, he's, he's going to convey this concern to others. Right. And they feel that, that, he, is, that uh, he has a cause, mm -hmm. and, he want, he want, and he wanted to give it rightly and give it sincerely. That's it's very important. Of course, uh, as, um, as humans, we have to gain benefits from in anything. Mm -hmm. And we think that Islam is a great benefit, so we have to make it clear to, to them that we are going to give you a, 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 a benefits, and, you, have to, and, you, and you, you are free to judge. There are the benefits, and you, are, and you have your minds, so judge, it, judge them, and then say your, uh, say your opinion, inshallah. Wonderful. Thanks, Brother Mahmoud. Brother Mohammed? Yeah, I was, to, I was about to say, uh, you have to, uh, to mention some of the benefits of what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, let's seek the truth, and, uh, and it is there in the Bible, as uh, Jesus said, seek the truth, and the truth will set you free. Okay. And as well, you can mention that uh, knowledge is power, so uh, let's have some knowledge. Let's yeah, know more let's, about yeah, future, yeah, other. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. And as you said before, yeah, we, sh we share mm -hmm. uh, because we care. Beautiful. Yes, Sami. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the greatest mission on the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Allah Almighty um, um, gave it to the prophets and the messengers. Mm -hmm. um, and so. So this is the the main mission or task of the yes. of the prophets and messengers and of Allah and those who follow them. Yes. yes. Great. So it is a great honor. It is a, a great honor for all of us to follow those prophets and messengers of Allah to do the same job, or the, day, the same, you know, work. Good. Let me go to other aspects that we talked about, care, care and concern, as Brother Mahmoud mentioned. Then we talked about good conduct and nice treatment. I keep asking others. How do you want to be treated? How do you want to be treated? Yes. In a good way or in a bad way? Of course, in a good way. Course, a good way. So good. we got to treat others accordingly. If you, if you like others to treat you in a nice way, treat them in a nice way too. If you, if you humiliate others, what do you expect? The, the same. same. The same. Same thing. Yes. And they will not listen to you. Yes. Even if you are a scholar, you're a big, you know, sheikh, but you start criticizing or humiliating others, they might turn off. They might be sitting there, but not paying that attention you want. Yes. Yes. Okay? Another... Another key, names and backgrounds. As I mentioned before, the Prophet ﷺ was using this art, this method. The Prophet ﷺ used to, you know, call beautiful names of the Sahaba, use the beautiful names of the Sahaba, Aba Hir, Aba Huraira, Ya Aba Hafs, Ya Aba Walid, even with non Muslims. Even with non-Muslims, did you finish? He was listening. Say, he was telling Abu Walid, Al-Mughira, Al-Walid ibn Mughira. He said, talk, I listen. Listen to this great tool, which is now is being taught in public speaking. Yes. They say, be a good listener. Listen to others. And this is what the Prophet ﷺ used to do. He says, speak, talk, I will listen. And he waited and waited, and when Abu Walid finished, he said, Afarigt, Afarigt, Abu Walid, did you finish, oh Abu Walid? No interruption. You see how the Prophet ﷺ, yes. he's our role model. He's the Qudwa, the, the examples, the example for all of us. Yes. So we can follow him. In giving da'wah, he is... The da'ya number one, right? The Prophet ﷺ is da'ya number one. He's the best teacher teaching about Islam. We follow the prophets. And finally, we follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet ﷺ, as, I, as, as I, I mentioned, he was using names, even for kids. Ya Aba Umair. Just imagine, he was, 
speaking to a child like this, just imagine, and he say, Ya Abu Umair, Mada Fa'an Nuqair. Oh Abu Umair. You see, playing with Al Hassan and Hussein, playing with kids. So subhanAllah, look at this great prophet. He is the leader. He is the prophet, the messenger. Subhanallah, yet he is very humble. How about using the background? The Prophet وسلم, when he sent Mu'adh to Yemen, do you remember that story? Who mm. remembers the story? When he sent Mu'adh to Yemen, mm. he told him what? Yes, yes Brother Muhammad, please. Uh, the Prophet وسلم, uh, said to him, uh, Bima tahkum? Before that, he told him, you go to a people of go to the people of the book. So he told him about the about what about the background of those people. Yeah, people of the book, and the first thing that you tell them about. You remember the hadith to tell them about what, and then the prophet told him what to say. But the main point I would like to refer to is, he told him you go to a people of a book or the people kind of sort of people of the book so he told him about Great the background, background of those people he is going to go to yes. Yes. this is very important now if I want to talk or one of you would like to talk to an al-Muslim knowing the background is a very helping factor in approaching him. For example, Brother Ahmed, yes. suppose that you like to talk to a Hindu. Yes. Isn't it a good idea to understand or to you know know more about his yes, background? Very, yes, it's very significant to have the background about in religion before talking. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, uh, background paves the way for you because mm -hmm. When we talk about Hindu, it's completely different from Christianity, for example. In Christianity, we have three gods. In Hindu, we have mm -hmm. more than 33 million gods, but the principles are uh, Krishna, uh, 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 Bara, uh, Brahma. Brahma, and uh, the third Shiva. one is Shiva. Mm -hmm. Okay, They are described as destroyed, preserved, and so on. So but they have Brahma, the creator. The creator, yes. And the and second one... Sh Shiva, Shiva and is the Vishnu. preserver, and the third right. is the destroyer, okay. Right. So uh, the bottom line here is that um, background is very, very important because right. it makes your mission to be more easier than expected. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, is and this might line. help you understand his, you know, his background and where, or, you know, where he is coming from. So you can, you can press the right button. He might like talking about equality or you know oneness because some I met some non Muslims for example some Hindus say we have millions, we have many, many, many gods. So you can approach him from this angle. For those who are for example, you know who are not sure about the creator, he said, I don't know who created us, so you can start from the, that point. With inshallah we will discover more about the background right after the break. Thanks for all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this new episode of Focus Point. The new generation is, has the good, the habit of reading more than before. The Jewish question was named basically the problem of Jews who lost their function in society. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before the break, I was talking about the importance of backgrounds, knowing the background of those people you like to invite to Islam. And we took an example of a Hindu 
who would like, you know, to be to know about Islam or to become a Muslim, it's good to know about his background. How about if you have, for example, a Christian? You would like to introduce Islam to a Christian friend or a Christian neighbor. Uh, what are you supposed to know about? Brother Muhammad, uh, you raise your hand. Yeah, I think the Quran uh, gives us uh, a good example for that when dealing with uh, Christians. There is a very wonderful verse. Mm -hmm. Which reads, "Qul ya ahl al kitab, ta'alu ila kalimatin sawa'in bainana wa bainakum, alla na'abuda illa Allah, wa la nushrik bihi shay'an, wa la yattakhda wa'aduna ba'dun arbaban min dun Allah, fa in tawallu fa qul shadu bi anna muslimun." That is, say, O oh, the people of the book, come to common terms between us and you, that we shall worship none but Allah, and that. Uh, associating no partners to yeah. him this is great I mean this is enough for yeah. us let's yeah. focus on this yeah. part this is the call of the Quran yeah. this is the invitation of the Quran i.e. Jews or, or Christians ta'alu come to what to Please? common terms between us and you that we worship none yeah. so this is the call of the Quran to come to la ilaha illallah to believe in one true God the creator of all now if you talk with him I mean with the Christian do you know something about his background yeah in Christianity they uh, they believe in Jesus as a God they uh, or believe in the or son of God or son of God they believe in what the, what they call the Trinity uh, God the, the, the Father, Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. So yeah. I got to know about this uh, background. So you, know, you see and you know where yeah. they are coming from. For example, yeah. if you talk with a Christian, he says, I believe in God. But what, you know, type, what concept, what is the concept? He will say, yes, I believe in, in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So you have to be careful. Yes, you believe in God, but let me share with you this understand or the understanding of God that I have. This is the concept of God according to Islam, that we worship what? We pray to who? We worship who? We worship one true only God. One true God. the true God, the Creator. The says, yes, I believe in one God, no problem. But part of my belief, he might say, part of his belief to believe in three in one. What's our problem? So we have to clarify or make things clear. He might go with you a further step. Say, okay, if I want to have salvation or if I want to get eternal life, how? How can I get it? So you can elaborate more. Because many, many people, specifically speaking, Christians, talk about eternal life, salvation. How to get salvation. So this is one of the you know, keys that you can use. Let's talk about salvation. Salvation in Islam. Or salva how to get salvation you know, from an Islamic perspective. And this might help to approach this person or that person. Yes, brother. Another issue is uh, crucifixion uh -huh. of Jesus. Is Another in, issue. In Christianity. This is a very critical issue. Yes. You know, some Christians believe, you know, that, that the crucifixion issue is a very, very critical issue. If there is Actually, this is Paul. According to Paul, St. Paul, this is in the Bible, in Romans, he says, if there is no crucifixion, there is no Christianity. This is the meaning of what he said. Jesus, according to them, died, you know, he was crucified to forgive the sins of all people. those people. who follow him. This is why, or how they tell us, to have salvation, believe in Jesus.
that he died for your sins. So it's, it's a good idea to know about others uh, how and how they think about salvation. And in your presentation, in your talk, you can, you can know how to deal with it in a nice and wise way. So knowing the background is very important. And this is, by the way, according to scholars, according to the ulama, they say this is part of al-ilm, knowledge, or al-basira, that you know about what you talk about, you know about the person you are going to talk to, and you know the right method, the right way you use to reach that person. This is part of knowledge. Al-ilm bima taqul, al-ilm bin madru, bihal al-madru, you know his situation, and al-ilm or knowledge of the best way. What is the best way through which I can reach this person or that person? For example, I remember one person, Brother Sami, was talking about crucifixion. A couple, a couple of years ago, actually this was almost in 1990, one Christian told me, just prove to me that Jesus was not crucified and I follow what you, you know, preach, what you talk about. So I went with him, I invited him to my home. After having dinner, we watched a, a lecture by Sheikh Ahmad Edat. Was Jesus crucified? SubhanAllah. After watching this lecture, this person, after a couple of, after a couple of days, decided to become a Muslim. Because... Je you know, Jesus was not crucified based on the presentation given by Sheikh Ahmad Didat, and he referred to many biblical references. So this is another issue that we can use in some cases. But generally speaking, I, will, I would love to present Islam by presenting, by presenting the beauty of Islam. Let's start with the beauty share with them after defining the terms, after breaking the ice, you remember that? Yes. yes. Then talk about the beauty. Yes. But some people might argue with you, so you have, get prepared. Make yourself ready. Is this clear? Yes. yes. Good. Now let's go to another key to win the hearts and to approach others. What do you see there? MashaAllah. Meal. Are you hungry? <laughs> you need some, Delicious you know? Meal. <laughs> you see, this slide, this presentation talks about helping, serving, and visiting others. This is another key, another way of attracting or winning the hearts of others. Helping them. If you help others, they will what? They will love you. They will respect you. He is, mashallah, he is very helpful. Ahmed is very helpful. He is a good person, a very kind person. So they will listen to you, generally speaking. There are some people who are, you know, might uh, just eat and cares. <laughs> <laughs> right? Some might just get the money and just say something bad about you. But this is, you know, a small small percentage of people who are Hypocrite. not grateful to others. But we are supposed to be grateful. If a person gives, gives you, for example, a <coughs> gift, Brother Ahmed, if I give you a gift, what do you say? Uh, uh, first of all, thank you. Here we go. This is yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift for you. Jazakallah khair. So if you give a person a gift, he would say what? Thank you. Thank you. So if you help others, if you serve the others, if you serve them, you will win their hearts. Ask about them. And you, you, you know, brothers, 
my dear viewers, that some of us might feel sorry, for example, after a couple of days, nobody asked about him, nobody called, where are you? We miss you, brother. Nobody asks about me. Nobody, why? I don't know. I mean, they did not ask about me. You see, we, we are concerned. We want people to ask about us. Just imagine now after five days or seven days, your neighbor or your friend, your, clo your close friend, did not ask about you. He did not see you for all these days, yet, yet he did not ask. What, what do you say? What would you say? Charlie, what would you say? He neglects me. Huh? He neglects, neglects me? Yes. Why you don't ask, eh, brother? <laughs> brother, ask. Yes. So let's ask. Let's, vi let's visit others. When this person gets sick, he is in the hospital, and you go to visit him, you give him a gift, what do you think? What will be the impression? And what, what will be the reaction of that person? We'll be happy. This is another, another, another key that we can use in inviting others to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are other keys. There are many, actually many ways. But we have to be wise. We got to be wise. And wisdom is a great concept. Inshallah, we'll talk about it. We will talk about it in the upcoming, inshallah, meetings. Thanks for all of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you, the brothers who are here, and the brothers and sisters watching us. Thanks. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.